するアップグレードアクセルHi, Firestarter here, and this is my review of the SH Regards Kamen Rider Axle Booster. Yes, a Tamashi exclusive. And um, nothing to see here but the brown box. So let's go with um, looking at the box art. The box art is just a simple, really bright yellow. Or I would say canary yellow um, design that it really is reminiscent of the old SHF box design or most of the Kamen Rider double uh, figures you have here Axel booster you have this photo over here Bandai and it says here Bandai collector shop Kamen Rider returns Axel um, Kamen Rider Axel booster it says here side yeah the other uh, this is the blurb and at the back um, details about Axel Booster and he also includes an extra head for your um, already existing Axel so that's a neat um, addition to what we're getting and let's take a look on Axel Booster accessories for Axel Booster we have also the, the um, engine blade which also opens up and closes down so but you can't put any um, memory inside um, it's just the same as what you have um, already existing with trial and um, commander axel it's just the same mold same paint apps and nothing spectacular on this and we have um, seven hands seven extra hands it's a remold and a repaint of the um, Axel Trials um, hands. We also have a thumbs up or a thumbs down depending on how you look at it. Open a lot of open hands and two holding hands. So we have a lot of um, posable, posable hands just like this. See, it's a repaint of um, Axel Trials hands. Nothing fantastic, just a repaint. But I do like the shiny, um, sort of yellow, going to a shade of gold on the hands. And that's it on the accessories now. Let's go to Axel Booster. I also forgot to mention that he came also with an extra Axel head. Now, um, the bad news is my Axel has been shipped to my parents' house because of a of the ongoing remodeling of my old uh, room because I'm putting a lot of uh, play or placing a lot of figures down there and um, I couldn't get Axel back so I'm giving you a photo that was given to me by a good friend John and kudos to him and thank you so much for giving me uh, providing me the photo so what the photo looks like from left to right is Axel Trials head the Axel Booster head the, the extra axle um, head and of course the default axle head that already came with axle um, Kamen Rider axle so the difference is um, with the default head um, the extra head the extra axle head is actually smaller than the um, default one so it is like a stylized or a remold of axle booster head it's a good combination altogether and it looks like um, it's already proportionate to what you already have and the A or on the antenna is slightly longer for the default head and the um, extra head is slightly smaller and it has the same mold and as axle booster so that's what you're getting for the extra axle head so thank you so much John for providing me this photo and it's definitely helpful um, without my uh, my own axle. Going back here is axle booster. Um, articulation point, swiveling hand, uh, shoulder pad do go up and down. It's also a mold of the axle trial uh, figure. 
but there are some um, improvements improvements on it like we have uh, sort of jetpacks all over him just like what you've seen on the movie like on the shoulders um, at the side of the leg or here and he also sports the hinge over hinge foot design swivels and it's just like um, other figures from Kamen Rider Double it's kinda tight because it's new and double jointed and as you can see even the um, joints are painted in yellow so it would be seamless once you um, try to pose them in different ways it wouldn't look obvious to um, most of you guys out there and I'll show you some of the um, design on the arms and on the shoulder pads and of course the infamous axle um, booster memory or boom um, memory booster and we have here the axle um, belt driver and here and at the back his jetpack which he used during the movie when he was injured while um, using the plane axle uh, memory or as plane axle Tone Rider axle now he doesn't have any compound eyes and the head is now covered just like um, Mad Max those cars that have uh, closed windows or visors that's what he looks like so if you're familiar with the movie Mad Max you know what I'm talking about um, the problem with this figure is that um, loose part would be the head it feels wobbly and it pr probably because it's a QC -ish issue probably with mine but um, a l uh, the rest of the joints are really tight and they're not loose and they're really playable and poseable and you won't have any problems um, using most of his joints in different um, poses so he does look epic in a way in his own simple way and I really do like the design even though I don't like the color yellow so let's um, just replace, just give you a simple uh, work on the hands while we replace it with the holding hand on his left and on his right let's just do like one posable hand so it's kinda easy for me to place those hands no problem at all um, I just forgot to mention um, he has a movable torso. Um, surprisingly, no waist articulation, or probably because it is a new figure, so I couldn't find it right now. But I'm trying to force him to go left to right, but I couldn't. So I think there's no waist articulation at all. The belt is not independent from the waist, so you cannot move that or turn that around. But you can remove the axle uh, driver. As you can see here, there you go. That's what it looks like without the belt, and it's easy for you to peg it in, like so. But it feels like it, it's not balanced. Um, sh just showing you that the belt is kind of tilted to one side for all of you nitpickers out there. So that's it about the figure. Let's l let him hold the engine blade a problem with the holding hand as I can see here is it takes uh, quite a lot of effort to place the um, sword in because uh, the fingers are really close together so I'll try to find another holding hand that's kinda loose but I couldn't find one so I'll settle for this holding other uh, this other holding hand let's peg that in and he looks epic in a way of his own although this um character or uh, just appeared on the Kamen Rider Returns movie um I really looked forward um I'm really excited in getting this one because he does look um different and he's not a remold of the old Axel figure and I mean he is but he's not really totally there uh, he has his own unique um, bits and pieces so he looks um, a really good collectible 
and uh, to complete the whole um, Kamen Rider Global line. I'm not so sure if they're going to be another one, but I think this is the last figure you'll ever see from Kamen Rider Double. Good figure, good possibilities, and really unique design that you'll definitely love, um, especially if you have uh, been collecting Kamen Rider Double ever since, especially on the SH Figures line. It's a really neat buy, even though he's so it's he's kind of pricey though. So if you want to know the possibilities for this figure, do check out the photos at the end of the video and do subscribe to my blog spot for the full return view. And um, I really do, do recommend visiting my blog spot because most of the reviews are there, return reviews more detailed and um, more accurate. I'm not saying that my videos are not accurate, but at least you'll know. Um, some of the things that I couldn't have mentioned here on the video and it's already there on my blog. So this is Firestarter. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. I wanna make you satisfied So go so cool to do it you could say My old tell you I wanna come right with me Be you not to ask me why it's main and the kina e hodo この想い激しくて止められない誰にも心臓が打ち鳴らすリズムでyou go Satisfied, and don't let me miss the end.